Sour and the Chilcano, two cocktails that are deeply ingrained in the Peruvian culture. While the Sour and the Chilcano are two of Peru's most famous cocktails, there's another cocktail that I think is underappreciated in terms of its Peruvianness, and that is the Pisco Tonic. In fact, I'm going to make the bold statement that the Pisco and Tonic is Peru's most Peruvian cocktail. That's because quinine, the main ingredient in tonic water, comes from Peru's national tree, the cinchona. So let's learn more about the Pisco Tonic and the cinchona in this lesson. During the mid-1400s, the Incas recognized quinine as a remedy for fevers. It likely entered Western medicine during the 1630s, after the Countess of Chinchong, wife of the Spanish Viceroy to Peru, became ill with malaria. With his wife near death, the Viceroy turned to the local Incas for help. After the administration of a mixture that the Incas called quina bark, the Countess experienced a remarkable recovery. It is believed that since that time, quinine has been used to treat malaria. Now, quinine is now regulated in the U.S. by the FDA because it causes side effects in high doses. However, it is still allowed in tonic water because it's harmless in small quantities. You can make your own tonic water by soaking cinchona bark in carbonated water. However, it's difficult to find. Sadly, cinchona trees are in danger of extinction. Now, just how Peruvian is the Pisco and Tonic cocktail? I say it is the most Peruvian cocktail, not only because the cinchona is Peru's national tree, but also because it is on the Peruvian flag. You can see it here in these photos. In the photo on the right, the cinchona tree is in the top right-hand corner of the shield. Now, what's even better about the most Peruvian cocktail is that it is so easy to make. On your screen, you can see Cami's recipe for the Pisco and Tonic that calls for one and a half ounces of Pisco Logia Acholado topped with Fever Tree Tonic over packed ice. You can garnish with Kalamata olives, a lime peel, or both. This simple recipe is a huge tribute to Peru. So now you know why I consider it the most Peruvian cocktail. 